Warning! This video blog or vlog could contain harsh opinions and foul language. If you do not appreciate said content or material, well, you could just fuck right off. Greetings, Internet people. Ranting Ramsey here. How are you all doing today? Now, I know it took a little bit longer than expected, but as promised in my previous video, I'm getting on with some rant requests that have been sitting in my inbox for quite some time. Today, I'm bringing to you two different requests that neither one of them will really take a whole hell of a lot of time to explain my viewpoint because I think the obvious screams blatantly in both of these. Um, so... Without further ado, I meant I said that like a Frenchman. Somebody kill me. Um, the uh, first request I'm addressing is the oldest one in my box. That was not a request that I decided not to do, which had been answered with a message. Um, is sent to me by New Goblin Thirty Six. If his channel still exists at this point, which I assume it does, I probably should have done my research a little bit better and checked it out. But um, it's uh, linked in the description, and uh, back in April, on the 16th of April of 2010, he asked me, people who keep dangerous animals as pets and then are surprised when they uh, are attacked, or those said pets attack someone or something, um, what my opinion is, uh, is was, ding. English is not my friend, I swear it's my native language, um, uh, it, it's really pretty, pretty cut and dry for me on this one. Any fucking asinine moron that decides I'm going to take this non-domesticated animal, like, say, you know, a lion. You know, I know it sounds strange or out there, but it does happen. Search it on YouTube. And so, person X decides to acquire this lion and raises it from a cub and then somehow is completely and totally shocked and amazed when said lion eats their baby. Lion just totally nom noms on the fucking baby and then owner says, what the hell happened? I can't believe our family pet would totally just eat my baby. Are you fucking serious? I mean, it's probably an exaggeration, but I don't know. I don't know. Search it on Google. Maybe there is a case where someone's pet lion has eaten their baby, but I doubt it. Um, uh, you know, to exa to cite other examples, one from my own personal experience, uh, a good friend of mine at one point in time in his life owned a monitor lizard. And we're not talking, and I know that Somebody, some of the uh, little science or biology Nazis might point out that monitor lizard is monitor lizard. <laughs> Once again, English is not my friend. Is kind of a blanket term. There are over like 30 different types of monitor lizards, but um, he had an actual. I think he said he had a Nile monitor. I don't know. Um, it was a big fucker that could potentially kill a person who was caught unawares. And uh, he never had any uh, negative incident with said Nile Monitor, but, you know, if, if said Monitor Lizard had killed someone or something, I don't know, you know, it's like, it would be kind of, in my mind, no mystery. You're taking an animal that is completely non-domesticated, not used to living around people, has no fear of human beings because it has no reason to, and then be shocked or amazed when said animal murders some human being. Well, it's not even really considered murder. I mean, it's just acting on natural instinct, you know. Don't fault the animal. Fault the fucking twit that decided to raise said animal as a pet. So, you know, there you go. That's pretty much what I have to say on that. And then the uh, other request that I'm addressing today... Uh, that was weak as fuck. Anyway... The uh, other request that I'm addressing today was sent to me back on June 30th of 2010 by The Hunter Spy, who is the uh, second link channel in the description, if said channel even still exists. Like I said, once again, I didn't do 
uh, the research in that regard. And what he asked me about is a video game question. He asked me how I feel about spawn campers. Now I have an actual completely and totally mixed opinion on spawn campers. Um, I, 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 there's, well, that's really the best way to say it, a mixed opinion. You know, I feel this way and that way about it. So give me just a second. All right, so of course, when I'm doing poorly in a game, that's a respawn type game and you have the ability to be spawn camped where there's no wandering spawns. If you can be spawn camped and you're on the receiving end of it, it's absolutely completely fucking annoying. It just you just want to punch these assholes in the fucking dick were you able to. Obviously, you can't. It can't be done at this moment in time, maybe if we have teleporters at some point in the future. I, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, um, so, on the receiving end of spawn camping, absolutely fucking annoying. But, there's a side of me, as a gamer who's been doing this for a very long time, that says, you kinda gotta give these people credit for at least being able to get in a position to spawn camp you, especially if it's like half the fucking opposing team doing it. You have to give them some small amount of credit for being able to get themselves in that position in the first place to completely and totally suppress your team to the point where you can do absolutely fuck all about it. There is there is a small amount of skill in that unless they're glitching or you exploiting some flaw in the game which isn't really glitching but still kind of seems like dirty pool, for lack of a better term. You know, but whatever. But, so, you know, I can have mixed feelings on spawn campers. It's like, fuck you for spawn camping me, but damn, my team and I suck bad enough for you to be able to put us in that position. Shit, what a total dichotomy of fuck. So, um... That's pretty much what you really have to say, or all I have to say, on that particular subject is that spawn campers simultaneously annoy me, yet I go, damn, you're better at this game than I am, because I'm not one person that can um, not admit when someone is better at a video game than me, because I gotta be honest, I played the video games for fun and I don't have the time to invest to become one of those really amazing video game players and I play such a wide variety of video games that I don't really devote enough time to any one given game to become exceedingly good at it anymore that I just I play a random smattering of this game that game and the other so um, that it, it, it doesn't really get to me when someone just beats the living shit out of me. Now, sure, for fun, I will, you know, talk random crazy shit whilst in a moment of fr frustration while playing a video game. Like, just random instance, if I'm getting completely and totally annihilated by a rocket launcher repeatedly over and over again in Call of Duty... Modern Warfare 3, I will start, you know, every time I get killed by a goddamn rocket whore, what the fuck, you know, or some shit like that. But honestly, half the time, that's just to amuse the people I'm playing with. Anyway, I'm getting way off topic here at this point, so yes, to summarize the second part of the rant request, spawn campers, I simultaneously am annoyed as shit when I'm being spawn camped as anyone would be, but I can also say... Fuck. You're good enough to put me in a position where I can't even get out of my fucking spawn. Kudos to you. Alright. That's two rant requests knocked down out of like a hundred and some odd. I'm Randy Ramsey. That is all. Hey, did you get all that, man? Douche.